Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its base uh, A, D is 1 cm and the base uh, B, C is uh, 3 cm. And moreover, the area of this trapezoid has been given to us as 4 cm square. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, ADC is being represented as uh, X, whereas uh, these angles are our 90 degrees angles. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus once again on this uh, trapezoid ABCD. And since uh, the area of this trapezoid has been given to us as 4 cm square. So therefore let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to the height H times the sum of the bases A and B all over 2. If I label uh, this uh, base as lowercase a, this uh, base uh, lowercase b and this uh, height of the trapezoid uh, as uh, lowercase h. Then we can see our lowercase a value is 1 and our uh, lowercase b value is 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We know the area of the trapezoid has been given to us as 4 is going to be equal to our height uh, h times a value is uh, 1 plus uh, b value is 3 all over 2 and now we know 1 plus 3 is going to give us uh, 4 so therefore we could write 4 equals to 4 times uh, h divided by 2 and we can see 4 uh, is going to be equal to 4 divided by 2 reduces to simply 2 times uh, h and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, lowercase h. And here we can see our uh, h value turns out to be 2 cm. So thus our this uh, h value turns out to be 2. And in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this perpendicular DE on this uh, base uh, BC. And since this angle is a 90 degrees angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees uh, as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle CED. We know this uh, base uh, AD length uh, is 1 cm. So therefore uh, this segment uh, BE length uh, is going to be 1 cm as well. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, CE length is going to be 3 minus 1 is going to give us 2 cm. And furthermore, we can see that this perpendicular DE length equals to this side uh, AB length, which is uh, 2 cm. So therefore, uh, this perpendicular DE length is going to be 2 cm as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this side uh, DE length is uh, 2 cm. And this side of this uh, triangle is uh, 2 cm as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, CED is our isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. And we know this is our 90 degrees angle. And we know the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. And we know that these uh, two angles are uh, congruent as well since we are dealing with the isosceles triangle. So therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees as well. And here's our final step. We know that this uh, angle ADC is uh, X and this angle is the sum of these uh, two individual angles. This is a 90 degrees angle and this is uh, 45 degrees. So therefore we can write that our angle X is going to be equal to 90 degrees plus 45 degrees angle. If we add them our x is going to be equal to 135 degrees angle. 
So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle X turns out to be 135 degrees. In other words our angle uh, X is uh, 135 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.